This video is brought to you by Bedhead McGee. Before I record too much, I'm going to shower. But first, I did just want to tell you guys one thing. Um, it's nine o'clock and I've already been on the phone for about the past 30 minutes. Um, there's an issue with the my contracting and appointment apparently with the company that I wrote last night uh, for that gentleman for his Medicare supplement policy. So I'm very frustrated about that. Uh, hopefully I don't have to rewrite him. That's always super, uh, I don't think I've ever had to do that, but it's very, I would imagine it'd be very awkward and unprofessional for me to say, yeah, there is a problem on my back end with my contracting. And I wasn't actually technically supposed to sell you that policy. So we have to do it all over again now that things are squared away. Uh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to have to say that. So I called the upline. I called the um, company directly. And they said they're going to try to get things sorted out because the company said that I'm not okay. But my upline said that they had received the green light from the company that I was. So there's just some confusion somewhere. Oh, but also during this whole process, I was re-looking at my contracting or my commission level, I guess I should say. And unfortunately I was wrong. I do just receive 22% commission for that med step, which makes sense. That's the same I get with basically every other company. So not the 26% that I originally thought, just 22% commission. So it turns out that everything was actually okay and fine with my contracting and appointment. It is, that company has just in time, I think they called it, appointment processing meaning um, I get appointed officially after I write my first piece of business with them. So that is why it showed that I was not able, showed that I was not actively appointed with that company. But all good to go. I shouldn't have to rewrite that gentleman that I wrote last night. And yeah, things should be super fine with that policy. Should be paying out here in the next couple weeks because it is an open enrollment policy. Then uh, also after that this morning, after I showered, I called um, who was it? Oh, yeah, well, I can't say the name anyway. I called the guy who has had all the issues with saying that he has diabetes diagnosis on his medical record when he doesn't actually have it. Um, he had alcohol and drug treatment that he went out of his way to go to uh, last year, I think it was. So that's getting him declined from everything. And it's just been a nightmare. But I helped get him... Um, all set up, well him and his two boys actually, signed up for their plans. I think I touched on this last episode, but I'll just re, re, um, rerun it by you real quick. So we got the two boys, a standalone um, child only short term medical plan that has a $2,500 deductible, 20% coinsurance, and a $5,000 coinsurance max out of pocket with no copays. It's not a copay plan and I'll explain why in a second. But that ran about $200 per month for a short-term medical plan for those two kids. So that's kind of more of their rainy day policy, you know, for the big, big expenses. And then the policy that will help cover their outpatient stuff, um, as well as preventive care and prescription drug coverage, is $199 a month. And that has co-pays for primary care physician as well as specialist visits. And um, the father is also included on that plan. So it's 200 bucks a month additional for their outpatient coverage, preventive care, and prescription drug coverage for all three of them. So right now we're up to 400 bucks. And then lastly, his, um, call it rainy day side of his plan, the big expense side of his plan. We got him a cancer and a heart attack guaranteed issue plan, as well as a guaranteed issue accident plan. And together those costs, um, roughly $23 a month, but then the hole in his coverage is probably going to be hospital. I'm trying to get him a hospital indemnity plan that pays, you know, $1,000 per day in the hospital for three days or the first three days or pays X thousand dollars for ICU, whatever, some type of hospital plan, but all of them are simplified issue and all of them ask in the last five years, if any applicant has been treated for alcohol or drug misuse or abuse. And unfortunately he has, even though 
this is the sucky part of insurance, you know, even though he went out of his way to essentially stop drinking himself, um, you know, he wasn't diagnosed by a physician with anything and he wasn't prescribed, I don't know if he can get prescribed, you know, AA or whatever, um, but he just went on his own, no, no doctor recommended him do this, he just was trying to help his marriage and help his family life, and because of that he got penalized, which really sucks, um, because he could have stayed an alcoholic and got coverage, no problem. But, so so that's where, where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out if he'll get approved for this hospital plan, uh, or for any hospital plan, but I don't think he will, unfortunately. So he's probably just going to be stuck with the um, with that cancer, heart attack, stroke, as well as accident supplemental plan for his, call it catastrophic coverage. Again, I'm doing quotes because... It's not technically catastrophic coverage. I can't use official, I can't use that official word. So it's bad day coverage. I'll call it that. But that's been off and on. Oh, sorry. You're getting to my laptop there. Uh, that's been off and on all day. That probably took a total of like an hour and a half getting all those three, getting the, all those policies set up. Um, but it'll be a pretty good commission because it is... Um, one is a MEC plan, which has 25% commission, and the short-term medical plans is actually 20% commission, which is awesome. And then those supplemental plans is 52% commission. So definitely earned this money. Then I had my awesome Wednesday lunch networking group at noon from about like 11.50 to 12.50 today. We kind of started a little early and ended a little early, but it was, um, and always is, at Fuddruckers every single Wednesday. And we do um, a hybrid meeting, I guess you can call it, where it's both in-person as well as virtual. Oh, and the name of that group, if you're in the Omaha area and want to look up networking groups, uh, I think it's on Meetup as well as Facebook, and it's just called A Different Networking Group. Then after I came home from that, just some other miscellaneous stuff happened. Um, let me find my notes. I needed to call into a carrier to see why um, I wasn't getting paid. On, or I didn't get paid on this one client for the month of August and it's because she never called in to update her info for her payment and I just got I texted her saying hey look like they're being generous here they're giving you an extension but I think that extension is even coming up to make your payment and so if she doesn't pay that she's gonna lose her short-term medical plan her dental plan as well as her telemedicine um, membership I th don't think it's technically a plan and that's bad obviously especially because right now she's pregnant and oh, the plan doesn't cover pregnancy anyway, but you need coverage, people. You need health insurance coverage. So get back to work or whatever is going on, lady. So that's why. That's why I wasn't getting paid on her. Then I also had to call in to a health sharing company because I was getting paid. I got paid like a dollar and 20 cents less this month than I usually do. So I was like, great, what's going on with this lady's policy? Here's a here's a tip for all you agents, all you brokers out there. Sorry, my nose is itching, has been itching. Maybe I'm allergic to the new apartment. I don't know. I'll show you guys later. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so I was paid a buck twenty less, and so I called in, and it turned out she had received. Uh, I don't know the wording they use. It's technically a discount for being healthy, for not smoking, or for not being essentially for being in the preferred height and weight chart, I think is all it really is. So that was good for her. That's awesome that she, her plan dropped by 12 bucks a month. So the monthly household share, I think that's what it's called for share programs. Share programs are, we are weird in that they use different wording for everything, but her monthly share decreased by $12 a month. So then naturally that's why my commission dropped. <laughs> Something exciting, um, late last night, my video editor for Project 402, uh, shout out to Nate Rogers with Noetta Creative. You're the man. Thank you so much for helping me out with essentially my passion project and helping share the stories of local Omaha businesses. It's been a fantastic ride and I can't wait for you to continue helping us and for me to continue to give you some free exposure on all my videos. I got off on a plug there, but I had to plug him. He's amazing. So late last night, he let me know that the Ponca Hills Pumpkins interview is complete so i need to watch that here um probably gonna start doing that right now actually 
and it's a shorter one actually I realized even though I felt like I was talking to Jake the owner the co-owner for longer than most um, but it was only 45 minutes about so I'm going to watch that and give some notes give some feedback to Nate see if he needs to fix anything which he only has had to do once I think all his edits have been fantastic and that the one that he did have to fix in my opinion had to fix was honestly just me being a little picky so I'm gonna watch that and hopefully be able to get that uploaded to YouTube tonight and get that video blasted out because it's prime time for pumpkin time <laughs> let's go with that it's prime time to order pumpkins right now it's the first week of September obviously you guys saw the date at the beginning of this video so people are ordering pumpkins to be delivered by Ponca Hills Pumpkins so they can carve them and be festive. Another um, little errand or unexpected thing that came up was um, one of my clients that has a dental policy as well as an Obamacare policy. But she, <laughs> there's some sort of issue with the payment uh, with the company, I think, because in their records, in their bank statement, they said that they paid five times because the policy's been active for five months. Um, but the company shows she's only been, she's only made two or three payments. So she's behind by 65 days. Yeah, 65 days, it says. So we're trying to figure that out. And I said, I verified with customer service, with my agent support line, as well as my online portal. All of them say she's behind by 65 days. They claim that her and her husband claim that that's not true. So I said, hey, look, I can't do anything else at this point. I need you guys to call back in and figure it out to make sure to pay the policy up to date as well as um, make sure that they set up auto pay correctly this time because I think that's where the issue stemmed from. I think when I set it up initially or there was an error with our system where they only did a one-time payment the first time they, um, they paid for the plan. And then after that, it hasn't been on auto pay. So I think that's where the issue lies. I think it's a system problem on the company's end, but I can't do anything, unfortunately. Um, everything I'm seeing, everything I've been told is that she's behind. So I said, hey, hey clients, um, you're going to need to have to call in on this one. So that's been a, not brief, I was going to say brief look. I'm very long-winded, I'm sorry. That's been a look at my day today and some things that I've had to do. Um, it's currently 4.50 p.m., so my girlfriend will be getting off of work here in 10 minutes, about, and I will um, be logging off this for the day. I'll stop recording, and the rest of the night will consist of just editing. Um, I think I'm behind two Broker Tapes videos, so editing two videos for this channel, and then watching my Project for a 2 interview, and hopefully getting that uploaded. We'll see, though. But thanks, guys, for tuning in to this one. Here's a quick look at the apartment. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for it. See you tomorrow.